The statistics are clear. Guns kill 30,000 Americans a year, as many as car accidents, according to government data. But UC Davis Dr. Garen Wintemute says no one knows for certain why people kill or how we could prevent those deaths. Studying firearm violence is no different from studying cancer or heart disease or motor vehicle trauma. Wintemute is one of the few researchers in the country who studies gun violence prevention right now out of an unmarked building in Sacramento. But he's being considered to lead a proposed UC Firearm Violence Research Center somewhere in California. What will the center actually do? Wintemute says study the science of guns. Why do people buy guns? Why do they use guns to kill? Exactly how many guns are in the U.S.? Do open carry laws make gun violence worse? Or do they actually reduce potential death by gunshot? And what can the public do about it? Some of those prevention efforts might be legislation. Others might be better violence prevention programs run by hospitals, for example. Doesn't, new, new prevention efforts doesn't have to mean passing new legislation. Critics argue that's exactly what new research will do, promote gun control. It's always been about restricting and taking away of Second Amendment rights. Craig DeLuz is the director of the Firearm Policy Coalition in Sacramento. When it is truly non-biased, as it is, for example, with the data that comes out of the CDC, well then that data doesn't support their policy conclusion. 20 years ago, the Centers for Disease Control was in charge of research until Congress banned it for fear of biased data. Wintemute says the challenge now is getting California lawmakers to approve new funding. How much? According to the bill, supporters are seeking about $2 million a year for five years. Why so much money? It doesn't matter if a little girl dies of leukemia or a stray bullet to the head. They're both dead, and both those deaths should be prevented. If we need to spend some money learning how to do that, let's get cracking.